hey, I'm Nick Williams and you're a new agent and you need to determine which course to take. I speak to people of this all the time, about this all the time. Could you be possibly a captive agent where you would get more training or should you be independent? You get much higher contracts, but you do lack the training. I'm going to give you two examples, two experiences that I've had in this business that represent this exact situation. The first was when I started in this business. By the way, if you would like and subscribe to our to subscribe to our channel and like our videos, I would appreciate it. I just want to throw that in there. We're finding that means a lot in helping us get out further uh, and reach more people. Okay, back to uh, story number one. I came into this business. It was 1989. I went to work in a small agency. Uh, and it was the uh, it was a Midland National Life Insurance Agency back in the days where most companies had general agencies, and I was on a fifty five percent contract. That was it. <clears throat> I was selling mostly Universal Life at fifty five percent commission, and I sold some term insurance. That was usually about ten points lower. That was it. Uh, that's all I did for about. I guess about 18 months. There were some other things mixed in there, but for the most part, I was grinding out that contract. Now, I prospered in that contract. I knew as time went on that I could go out and get 100 points pretty easily, but I was focused and focused like a laser beam. And I did prosper. I found myself on a trip to Hawaii real fast. Uh, you know, I had a nice, nice experience there. It was a good experience. And then I left and I went on my own. The general agent, his name was Lynn Richardson. He prospered because of me and everybody was happy. I know I made him a lot of money and I made myself a lot of money. And, but I, I gave up the, the spread and the spread was at least, a, at least 50 points at least 50 points, but probably more. But I didn't care. What, what mattered was that I got my foundation right, and I did. That set up a career for me that I have that I have to this day. Now, I did have some, uh, I did do some other things in the interim, always in the financial services. I, I, you know, I went and did more investment type stuff, different things, uh, but I came back to this business, and this brings me to my second story. I was doing I was doing some real estate investment financing, and it all went to hell in a handbasket. And by 2008, 2009, actually it was in 2009, I had to start over again. And in doing so, I went back to a I went to a career agency, a captive agency in this instance. I mean, it was contractually bound captive agency. And I worked there and I shot up through the ranks. I was running an agency for this company in no time within not, in nine months. I mean, and this is one of the bigger agencies in, in America. This is, one of the, this is one of the biggest agencies in the country by far. And I was running the upstate of South Carolina for this company within nine months. I learned everything I needed to know. Now, that situation, when I left, it didn't end well. And I'll call it my fault. It, it really is. I didn't handle my my exit properly. And because of that, it was bad for me, but I was contractually bound and there was a non-compete and it was enforced and I suffered because of it. But at the end of the day, that again, that was in this senior market, which I never was, when I was in this business and I started in this business back in 89, which is again, nearly 30 years ago, I was strictly life insurance, and that was a much younger uh, target uh, demographic. So I was brand new in this senior market, and within within no time, I was up to speed because I was in this agency and I had all these people around me. I was I was at uh, let's see, I was I, I had the annuities down, not a hundred percent, but I was I was getting them. I had the final expense down. I mean, that was a no-brainer for me because I'm a life insurance expert. I had uh, the indemnity-type products. You know, we pushed those. And then also, of course, the Medicare. And I had it just like that. Even with the, the, the uh, I guess, the bad turn at the end of the relationship, it still helped me. 
And in hindsight, it was a good move. Had I handled my departure better, it would have been better. Now, I will say that you really need you really need to know who you're going to work for. Like I would I would say that that probably wouldn't be the company I would recommend necessarily uh, because of it it's hard to leave that particular company. But I would recommend a captive agent situation. And here's one last thing I'm going to leave you with on this uh, is do not fall prey to these uh, agencies or whatever where they 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 bait you with such and such agent made thirty thousand dollars last week. Therefore, you should work for us, and therefore you should spend five thousand dollars on leads. You do that if you are a, uh, an experienced salesperson. Yes, that you know exactly what you're doing. But you never do that if you're if you don't know where if you don't know that the potential outcome that you like for example when i came back and i went to this senior agency i knew exactly what was going to happen because i i I was very versed in in in-home sales and i'd been doing it at the time for 20 years so it was a lay down for me if you have been working as perhaps a school teacher or something like that and now you're going to go into this business and and you're going to get baited. Well, you don't want to take that bait. You you want to you want to do something that's much more reasonable. Uh, and what that is is that a captive agency? Maybe, but and you might be better off going captive at that point, getting some real training, and instead of just going on a wing and a prayer for something that you don't fully understand. That's it. Uh, if you have questions, put them in the comment section or send me an email, nick at medicaremillionaire.com. I will see you later.